How frustrating is it, uh, has it been having a week without a game? Uh, yeah, very frustrating, um, especially after the last game that we had. Uh, we obviously played a good game and then ended up losing the game in the last 10 minutes. So it's been a little frustrating, but on the flip side of that, we've had a lot of time to you know, prepare for, for this game at the weekend. So um, it's got its pros and cons, but it's, um, yeah, I think we're just all looking forward to for the, for the game at the weekend. Would you welcome to break from the league? Um, I wouldn't say it's such a negative thing. Like I said, there's, there's more time on the training field. You know, we've signed quite a, a few new boys, um, so it's you know it's probably good for them as well, just to, you know for them to get used to the way we play and, and for them to settle in. So yeah, I'd probably say it's actually more positive than negative. Yeah, and it has been a busy week, as you said, in the in the transfer market with the club making um, I think five signings now. Yeah. What's that done for the squad? Oh, it's given given obviously the gaffer more options. Um, you know. Good players we've brought in, um, you know, a few Scottish boys, which is always good. Um, but no, nah, it's, obviously it's more competition amongst the squad. It makes everyone train that little bit extra, extra hard. You know, it keeps it very competitive. So yeah, it's very positive. And as far as um, uh, the, the situation you find yourselves in, it's not been a, been a good run of form for you, for you guys. And I know that you, you know, as a squad, you'd be determined to try and put this right. What conversations do you have as a group away from the sort of the management team? Because the manager can only do so much. What conversations do you have as a, as a group uh, to try and sort of navigate your way through this tricky spot? Yeah, like you say, it's a, it is a very tricky spot. It's not one that I've ever been involved in uh, on a personal level, so it's different for me. But, you know, we've just got to stick together. Um, I know it's easier said than done, but we have to stick together as one. And, and kind of, it's, I don't think it's anything the gaffer can really do. You know, he puts out the team and, you know, we all know our jobs. But at the end of the day, it's, it's you know, we're 11 players out there and we all need to perform that much better. Um, because, you know, it's, like you say, it's probably not been good enough on an individual uh, spectrum and, and as a team so I think if everyone just you know ups our game a little bit we won't be too far off because that Port Vale game that we played last week you know for the first half it was as good as I can remember us playing for a good while so there was a lot of positives in it and then obviously the second half was a bit a bit disappointing but there's still a lot of positives in that game. You've had experience uh, playing for the club uh, a season in League Two and, and, and obviously now here, here, here in League One how uh, put us in the picture for, for us sort of on the outside sort of looking in how, how big a step up has this been for the side yeah very big I know there's quite a few boys here that including myself who haven't played at the league one level so um, it's different but you know it's one it's a challenge we're obviously in a position now that it's, it's a big challenge to stay in the league and it's one we're all relishing at the moment uh, you know ideally we don't want to be in this situation but we find ourselves here so you know Stevie and, and the gaffer have managed to sign a few boys with some experience in the league. So, um, yeah, so we're looking forward to the challenge and hopefully, you know, at the end of the season, we'll be, we'll be in this league. Got task at the weekend. What do you make of Exeter? Yeah, good team. Um, you know, they obviously they beat us in the league um, earlier, on, earlier in the season. So, we know what they're about. They're a good footballing team. Um, obviously, got a new manager from the last time we played, but, you know, it still looks like they still got the same, you know, squad depth. So, yeah, it's going to be a tough game. Um, it's a hard place to go, and you know. But we're, on the flip side, of that we are looking forward to. It. Just taking you back to what you said before, with the, the addition of the new signings, and and then, and I suppose it's natural, isn't it? Yeah, everybody's going to up their game because they want to keep their shirt. Do you, as a player, set yourself any sort of personal targets in the coming weeks and months? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I've, I'm probably my own harshest critic, so I'm always demanding a lot for myself. Um, you know, for personal note for this season, it's. You know, I've not played as well as I'd like to, and uh, it's quite hard to deal with at times. But you're always trying to find things on the training ground to, to improve your game, and you know that's all you can do. Is you know I've been working working hard on the training ground, and um, you know a lot of the boys have, like, like I say, the position we're in in the league, we're all having to dig that bit extra to to push each other. So um, yeah, I've got targets. You know, ones ones that I'll keep to myself uh, for, for now. Um, but yeah, it's uh, like I say, it's a challenge this season, and uh, one we're looking forward to. You mentioned the position you're in the league. Yes, you are bottom, but it is such a congested table down the bottom there. You know, it's got to be something, a real sort of carrot for you, your guys, really, just a couple of wins and, and you're looking in the right direction. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, a few weeks ago, I think if we won, won a game, we could have been, you know, quite far out of the, the, the relegation zone. But I think as it is now, we need to win one or two games to get out of it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a disappointing bit of form that we've been on at the moment, but I think... 
the performance, like I said last week, was was a big improvement from from weeks before. So you know, I think if we put that first 45 that we had last week into the next few games, we'll, we'll definitely be able to get some points.